Carolyn Ringham from Heisla, Kinmet Village. And I'm the youngest of six children. So it's mostly me, uh, Fred and Ada, but mostly me <laughs> that took care of my mom for most of the time. For the longest time, um, there was health issues off and on, but within the last, like, I think it's been about three years when she was first diagnosed with Alzheimer's, dementia, and it slowly progressed um, until within the last year, she started having hallucinations and they were very bad. Um, in the middle of the night, like, s screaming out for my name, like she was scared, could she see these people? And so that's when, like, our world changed. <laughs> Be prepared to repeat things over and over. <laughs> yeah, she took part in many of the decisions. So it was my mom's decision. We asked her what she wanted, and she wanted a walk-in tub. So that helped with her um, being able to get in and out of the tub easily. And especially when, um, if accidents come up, and our mom doesn't want to be resuscitated. She has a DNR. So we just recently went through with the uh, doctor and the multi-level care asking us for guidelines on what to do um, to make our mom's um, life go how she wanted it uh, with, this, with regards to more care or no. I was very open about talking to my mom and everything about it, anything and everything and taking her everywhere. So I can easily sit down and chat and talk with her about that type of thing. Whereas um, one of my other siblings was scared to. So I'd just be open and honest to her, even though she is maybe not going to remember this in a couple of hours. Um, I would talk to her and tell her the truth for the most part. But there was times that I had to necessarily fib about her hallucinations and everything or go along with it and just pretend that I see what she saw. But it's almost like she became a child the way you had to talk to her and tell her. So just be open and f like friendly chat. Don't be aggressive to them. They're still your parent, and you still have to have respect and for them. Um, don't get aggravated with them. It's not their fault. It, it was like any time she would get like mad at me about something, and she never tended to get mad at all growing up. So uh, I kept on my head like, okay. That's her Alzheimer's. She's not meaning it towards me. Just kept on, oh, it's okay, Mama, come on. You know, open and kind communication. <laughs> it's not their fault.